Thursday. Um, what we will be talking about in the next hour or so is not uh, like our regular update webinars, which are essentially open to anybody. Uh, you've been invited for this session specifically because you have a uh, VAT compliance engagement with us. <clears throat> and what I appreciate it, some of you might not have been able to, to make it. We will be sending the slides as well to um, uh, to all of the um, to all of the clients as well as a recording of this uh, of this webinar. Um, I'm joined today by Sebastian as well. Um, I'll be explaining a bit his role and in, in a bit. Um, so I guess for context, in the next hour or so, we'll probably finish up a bit earlier. What we wanted to do is uh, not inform you per se about the last status on VAT in any of the four GCC countries where we're, uh, where we're operating, but rather uh, we wanted to share with you uh, a number of uh, improvements that we've done uh, through to our internal processes. Um, because we would like to inform you of those, but also from a number of those, we may need your cooperation from time to time. So we want to prepare you as well for the eventuality that you might maybe get a request, which is slightly different than the normal request uh, that you get from us. In addition to uh, wanting to uh, explain to yourselves maybe a bit as well, how our, our process works, so that you may sometimes understand that how come it's taking a couple of days, for example, for the information that you provide to be returned in the form of a uh, of a VAT return? Um, so we believe it's important that you understand this process so that we can streamline a bit more the um, communication between our firm and and yourself. Um, on this slide, essentially, um, I didn't want to elaborate too much, but essentially. As a reminder, the context is that we are operating um, in uh, the UAE and Saudi Arabia since 2018 with a VAT system. So still fairly recent, right? Six years uh, in, especially when you compare with the uh, with more mature systems elsewhere. Um, and we've obviously seen Oman and and uh, uh, Bahrain um, coming online uh, a bit later. Um, and I think the, the reason why I wanted to remind everybody of the of the VAT framework is that we see that the framework is relatively dynamic, um, either because of uh, changes in the VAT rate, changes in the penalty framework, administrative changes, changes in portals and whatnot, um, which are sometimes a bit a bit tricky to to deal with. Uh, what we see is that very often when such a change, especially when it comes to a um, government portal, uh, is implemented that there's always a couple of snags uh, to the system. And it always uh, requires ourselves as well to um, to revisit a bit our, our system and our, our processes. So I guess the, the bottom line is, for given this relatively mobile uh, context is uh, yourselves are already a client, so we don't have to convince yourself anymore. But essentially, what we are trying to do is we are trying to keep our eye on the ball uh, so that you don't have to. Um, we do that through the engagement that you have with our with our teams. But we also obviously do that through our monthly newsletter and our daily LinkedIn updates, which are intended to inform you really of what is going on currently in the um, uh, in the landscape. Um, and then as much as possible, try and anticipate and implement any uh, changes uh, required. So those of you following us for a couple of years, this is the map that I created in 2017, uh, which we've had to for which we've had to update the information there uh, uh, since then. Um, UAE and Saudi Arabia and VAT since uh, 2018, UAE at five percent. Saudi Arabia um, since then went from five percent to fifteen percent. Bahrain implemented on the 1st of January 2019 and increased its VAT rates from 5% to 10%. And Oman uh, implemented uh, on a funny date, 16th of April 2021, and is currently still at a VAT rate of 5%. People keep on asking us, what about Qatar? What about Kuwait? Um, Qatar is closer to an implementation than, than Kuwait is, in, in our opinion. Um, the fiscal situation of both countries is is 
uh, very different. Um, so we need to see a bit, but I, I wouldn't expect it right now at any time uh, soon. That would be my uh, my guess on things. Above all, you're not here to listen to to tell me uh, or to listen to 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 me uh, tell you about VAT rates and and countries and whatnot. <clears throat> You'd be sufficiently informed already about that. But above all, what we want to explain to you a bit is our approach. Uh, unlike other firms, our compliance team and our advisory team are separate. What you see in a lot of our um, competitors is that um, the compliance team and the consulting team, they go hand in hand together. They are one and, and, and the same team. That's not our, our strategy. Uh, our strategy is to say compliance is a very valuable um, trade and expertise. And whoever is good at consulting will likely not be good at compliance. Whoever is good at compliance might not be as good uh, at consulting uh, or can get to it. But essentially, it is a different mindset and a different uh, approach to things. Um, when it comes to compliance, it's very much process driven, right? Um, and again, I don't have to convince yourselves because you're already clients, but it's it's sufficient or uh, it's good to take the time nonetheless to remind yourselves why, why you're a client and, and, and how we uh, operate. I think number one is when you look at our team and we will show you again the, the, the pictures as well of the people that I believe you're the most uh, familiar with is you'll find seasoned professionals uh, uh, in there um, hailing from, from a range of companies. Uh, we only hire people that we believe are good at what they do. I'm sure everybody does that um, or says that. Beyond that, um, what we try and do is um, create value for yourselves as clients beyond the compliance tasks. That means that we might flag things to, to you, inconsistencies, opportunities uh, as well. When it comes to reviews, um, Sebastian and I, in the preparation of this, we were joking a bit that we should put a, that it's a six I review system, but it's not really a term used much. Um, but essentially every every return goes through three different stages. Um, speaking to, to um, a gentleman working at a competing firm the other day, what they were doing is they were uh, dividing up their clients in between uh, VIP, VVVIP, and VVVIP. We don't have such a uh, distinction. The distinction there was guiding the level of of review that they were doing. We don't have that. The, every client goes through the same uh, review and the same level of review. Yeah. So we always have three persons reviewing it, and it will always at least involve a person who's got at least eight years of experience and in our case, much more actually um, years of experience when it comes to the review. When it comes to more complex issues, they will receive a more in-depth uh, review. Efficiency and support, and that's probably one of the things that to talk about uh, today. A lot of the compliance processes are uh, time consuming and repetitive. We have put in place a system which makes us efficient and which tries to, as much as possible, avoid any issues. Um, Sebastian is going to explain that in, in, in a bit how that how that works specifically. Um, we feel confident that, that today we are in a, in a position to handle a large amount of uh, VAT returns on a monthly and on a quarterly uh, basis. <clears throat> and we're also confident that we have taken away a number of fairly repetitive tasks so that we can free up some of our staff to do things which add more value to yourselves as, as clients, in addition to gaining more experience and exposure. Obviously, that helps us also to minimize penalties and maximize uh, refund opportunities wherever they arise which in turn obviously is good for your standing with the, with the tax authority because you'll be in a situation where you know you have essentially a clean slate. Regular monitoring and, and uh, consultation. Um, what does this mean? Is that 
as we will explain in a bit, we have our compliance calendars with our reminders, with specific views on how the process works, which we'll explain in, in, in a bit, for which we feel we are in a good position to have one single view for our, all of our clients um, uh, throughout the whole cycle. What we're also doing is we're, we're making updates. We're going to introduce a couple to yourselves to, today, but the, we're not going to be stopping there. Uh, essentially, the, the intention is to root out as much as possible anything which is repetitive, but also to anticipate for and um, make sure that we're aligned as much as possible with any kind of update that, that might come with to the regulations. Also perhaps good to, to know is that uh, every team that has three people in it, it will also always have a dedicated council for additional support. Council for us being the term that we use internally for someone that has a substantial amount of uh, experience in, in tax. Good for yourselves to know as well as that our compliance team doesn't work in silos. Yeah, you will very often see that they will work alongside the consulting team hand in hand and they will hand over to each other whenever it is uh, required as well transparent and adaptable is also a part of uh, our process or is one of the mantras um, for compliance engagements our fee arrangements are simply fixed fees it's foreseeable it's predictable it allows you to to budget and when it comes to any questions which are not in scope of the compliance engagement, which may uh, arise, we will uh, record our time spent uh, and we'll be very cognizant as well uh, uh, to make sure that it constitutes a value addition uh, to yourselves and to your firm, uh, whatever we are uh, advising on. Collaborative and strategic, yeah. Um, any new... Um, client that we're onboarding these days, we do an intro meeting, yeah, um, insofar as that client, uh, as we don't know that client just yet, or insofar as that client did not come in through uh, the consulting team, try and understand, okay, what are your needs? How are you going to be sending over the information? Would be do designing the process aligned with your priorities. Yeah? That means that we can configure our compliance calendar according to your due date, for example, internally. And we'll be looking at suggestions to provide to you to enhance cash flow, for example, refunds, and achieve your compliance related goals. In regards to um, the approach towards your specific filing, say it's customized and, and analytical, yeah, we will, uh, our approach is tailored to your structure and your transactions in the sense that Sebastian will show that we will also record that and analyze it for internal purposes to understand also, for example, what is your risk level for us internally? We have clients that have a low risk level, medium or high risk level. We want to understand as well what goes into your return every month. That may be the same things, but, or you might have certain trends at the end of the year, for example, which may make it a different return. And um, we give feedback on VAT return uh, trends, and we'll be doing that much more even in uh, the future. When you look at our approach, uh, this is a bit the traditional uh, triangle of wisdom, uh, let me call it, uh, process, people, and technology. Um, when it comes to our process, we have a fully documented process which is summarized, but in a limited way in this presentation. It goes much beyond that to ensure that whoever is, is joining newly in the team can immediately start working based on that documented process. We have an internal document, which is called the risk assessment form, in which we note what we believe are the risks in the engagement. That can be, for example, that the information is untimely set or that the information is inconsistent or that, for example, the um, volume of trades might be very high in certain, um, in certain times rather than low in other uh, times. We have a, 
proprietary designed PAT template uh, with certain checks that we that we make. We'll be talking about that in 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 a bit as well. Um, on the right hand side, you see culture structure and and, and skills training. Our um, staff receives a lot of training that goes from our weekly uh, training in which we review and discuss technical updates that in that training, we have both compliance and consulting in the same room. In addition to sending people to our uh, own a GCC tax certificate that we've developed together with Middlesex University, University. in addition to compensating our staff for any type of training that they want to take up uh, externally, um, which is related to what they do on a daily basis. So we really try and invest in the people as well. We've always have. But more recently, when it comes to technology, this is really where we, we took the furthest uh, steps. You see two softwares quoted in, on, on the bottom. Uh, on the one hand, Dropbox, and on the other hand, at monday.com. And Sebastian is going to be talking about those uh, in a bit more detail in a second. This is my cue as well to hand over to uh, to Sebastian, um, who's going to take us through processes and who is going to be discussing a bit the improvements that we've uh, that we've made, as well as what those mean for yourself as the uh, as a client. Thank you for the introduction, Thomas. Um, thank you all for joining this uh, this webinar. Um, indeed, as Thomas said, I will um, try to give you a more detailed uh, insight in, in the, the the process that we that we have applied. Um, as Thomas said, we have uh, the full PT compliance process uh, fully documented in in a, in a Word document. But uh, the the work that we have done in the in the past few months is that we also have. Um, documented this, uh, for this this workflow in in uh, Monday.com, which is actually a project management tool that that we're using. Um, it, it's it's actually more than project management tool. It's 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 a project management tool that allows a lot of add-on software, like a lot of um, automation possibilities in in this in this uh, in the software. Um, if you, if you go into detail in the process that we as Orver has have. Um, set up in this monday.com tool then uh, the, the the master client list is is the, the first step it's it's uh, uh, it's actually a list of all the clients the vt compliant clients uh, that we have with with uh, specific information on that on that client so we have uh, for each client we have the the due, due dates we have whether or the, the client is quarterly filing whether the client is monthly filing uh, we have the contact details in that uh, master client list of the customer, of course, so uh, email addresses, uh, name of people, of course. Um, we have also information on on, on the businesses here. Um, like Thomas mentioned, we have uh, a link to uh, risk assessment forms uh, in this list where um, the, the activities of, of every uh, client is, is summarized, where the, the, the risk areas are summarized. Um, so the, the, the things we, we need to watch out for are summarized there. Um, and we also have the a, a specific Dropbox link. Um, and I will explain later why we have that here, because uh, that will allow us to automate uh, communication with you uh, as much as possible. Um, maybe first of all, if you, if you look at the, the slide, you see a, a number of gear symbols. Uh, and these are the areas where we um, have already uh, applied automation uh, to to uh, more or less full extent. Um, in some cases, it's it's a little bit grayed out. That's uh, where we have, uh, where we are working on, on, on more automation. Um, so first step, as I mentioned, the master client list, this is the, the main list that we need to maintain. Um, this is, this has all the most updated information on all the clients. Uh, what happens then is on a monthly, uh, monthly basis, um, Automatically, we have a, a, a monthly board created, and that monthly board contains all the deliverables that we have to file for that month. So every deliverable for every client becomes an item on that board, um, an item um, with, with its own status, its own um, people allocated to its um, own um, chat box where we can um, 
updates each other on, on, on specific topics, something that the client asks, something that we, we found, some issues that we have. Um, so every every item, every deliverable has its own um, monthly lifespan, I'd say, and its own uh, own life during the month. Um, that's being created automatically uh, based on based on the due dates that we maintain in the master client list. Um, once that has been created, we will have with the full team um, um, tell um, a monthly connect uh, in that monthly connect, which normally happens, I think the the first two days uh, Tuesday of the month. Uh, we will discuss every item. We'll go through the full list. We will um, discuss attention points, discuss potential new clients. Um, also discuss pot potential open items that we that we need to address um, as soon as possible. Um, and after that uh, monthly connect, um, we change the status of each and every item to a request for information. And the changing of that status uh, triggers the automatic email uh, that you already uh, you already have seen uh, in the in the past months normally. Um, that's a, an automatic email uh, requesting you the, uh, for information. It it will contain a Dropbox link, a Dropbox link that is maintained in the master client list, which you can use to upload the information that we uh, that we will need to to prepare our VT compliance. Um, I think in the past the the email was sent from my email address or even Kai's email address. But uh, be aware that we also created our new uh, tax compliance uh, email address. So in the future, this will be sent out to, from this email address. Um, using You can also use this email address to, to reply because this uh, email address, um, the full VT compliance um, team has access to that email address and can see the emails that you send to this, uh, to this email address. Um, then we have the, the the normal cycle of of of, of VT uh, preparations. So of course, if you if we look at for information, you deliver the information. We check whether everything is compliant, uh, whether everything is complete. Um, we depending on the scope, we might also ask for some additional samples of invoices. Um, but then um, every every item is allocated to a certain person that is preparing the file. Um, the status is being changed to prepare once the once the preparer is, is starting to work. Um, if the preparer finished work, the status of that specific item changes to, to review. Um, then another person, uh, I mean, the, the item is assigned to another person. Um, sign off, then the item is assi um, um, assigned to, to uh, an, a final person signing off. Um, and once that sign off happens, um, and that's also something that that's new, and uh, we will test this um, uh, starting from this month. Once the the status is changed from sign off to uh, send to client for approval, a new automatic email will be sent to you um, with a link to the um, to, to to our Excel file that you that, that you know. Um, so that's that's an additional um, automation that, that that we're trying to do now. Um, once we get the approval from your site, um, we have the, I mean, we, we of course need to file the, the uh, VT return towards the authorities. In the past, that was uh, quite manual. So we, we needed to type the, 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 the numbers from uh, the VT return to the authorities website. But now we, we, are, we also have an, an automation for UAE because that's the only country that for the time being allows uh, uploading of, of an Excel file, so we can we can now create that upload file automatically from our from our Excel file, which allows um, for us to, to I mean, which avoids manual errors uh, during the the, the filing of the VT return. Um, maybe you can go to the next slide, and we'll, uh, th this shows the, the same process, but more from the different stakeholders. So uh, again, here you see that. Um, Orifer is actually the, 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 the responsible to start the process on a monthly basis. Um, so we will, after our, our monthly meeting, we will send out the request for information to the client. Then you as a client will send um, the information to, to Dropbox link. Uh, through the Dropbox link, we will check the information. We will ask for samples. Uh, we will do uh, our work. We will send the file to you for approval. And once 
uh, you as a client approve, we will um, make sure that it's getting filed towards the authorities. So that's our responsibility. And then we will send the um, the information, I mean, the, the, the payment information and, and all everything that you need to, to know to make the payments uh, toward the tax authorities. Um, and maybe then the same process, but then maybe from a timeline perspective. Um, so as I mentioned, we will send out requests for information after our um, uh, monthly connect. So after we, we discuss all files to make sure that everything is fine, this will normally be the first Tuesday of the month. Um, then um, we set a deadline to, to you uh, on which date we, 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 we expect the information. If you don't expect the information, um, then uh, we, I mean, this is not automatic anymore, uh, not, not yet, but at, at some point in time, we also want to make this reminder automatic. So if you don't, if the status of a certain item did not change before a certain date, then automatically Monday.com can also send, send out uh, reminders to you. Um, so that we make sure that we're sure that we can start um, as soon as possible preparing the, the, the returns because it's a bit tricky if all the returns, if you have to file or start preparing all the VT returns, um, let's say the, 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 the last week or the, the second week before the end of the month, because then everything comes together. Um, and then, I mean, we have to prioritize based on payment position, based on different countries. Uh, but then, of course, some uh, customers, um, clients will will will. will will receive the, the, the file a little bit later than, than they are normally used to, uh, which which triggers some I mean, um, people get um, becoming unhappier or something like that. So it, it's actually important that we that we get the information on time. Then we will do our best to um, deliver the, the deliverable within, uh, let's say, one week uh, for the full process. But our uh, I mean, ultimate deadline is to provide you uh, with, with the payments and the proof of filing at least three days before the, the, the deadline to submit the VT return so that we, we, we avoid last minute uh, payments uh, and, and, and filings. Uh, just a small reminder, uh, as you're aware, that in UE, the, the deadline to file the VT return is the 28th of the following month. In Saudi Arabia, Oman and Bahrain, it's uh, by the end of the month that we have to file the, the VT returns. Um, I think this covers uh, the process part. Um, you, you saw that we already have a lot of technology here because, because of course, the, the three items, people, technology, process, it's all uh, I mean, coming together, it's, it's hand in hand. So um, I think Thomas know we'll, dis we'll discuss the, the people part and then I will, uh, I mean, come back to it with a with small uh, part on, on the technology. Sure. Happy to, to take back over. Thank, thank you for explaining that, Sebastian. And, and indeed, we're going to be focusing in a bit um, uh, on uh, Dropbox and Monday.com as well in, in a second again. Um, I'm hoping that for all of you who are on this call today, the team that is in front of you uh, on these on these pictures, uh, that they would be known to you. Um, those are the people that you may be dealing with on a um, on a daily basis or at least on a, on a very uh, regular uh, basis um we will be expanding that team a bit further as well in the next couple of months but these are the faces that you should be familiar with and are all of the faces that are working on the different levels of review the preparers the reviewer and then ultimately also the um uh, the sign off i think if there's anything to um remind yourself of of that team is that um I hope you felt the dedication. Um, I hope you felt that we try to be practical and, and hands-on. We try as much as possible to understand what uh, is specific to your uh, sector. Uh, uh, for example, an FMCG client is not the same as a defense sector client. All of our staff has, has extensive experience and has Sebastian has explained as well, they've been trained in using this, this process. Um, and in addition to that, they receive a lot of, uh, a lot of technical uh, training as well, uh, which hopefully gets everybody up to, to a good level where we indeed we can have um, beyond just the mechanics of the whole process that we can also discuss uh, technical positions uh, for the benefit of, of, uh, of yourselves. 
back to technology and 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 back to Sebastian. Um, uh, over back to you. Um. Yes. Um. So, so uh, what what Thomas already said. We, as author, we really try to invest in technology because we believe that that's. I mean, it's it's obvious. Everybody is is doing it. It it doesn't make sense to 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 keep uh, to to make our people do the, the same recurring things every month because it's it's not good for it's not good for the people it's not motivating for them it's not good for you as well because then everybody gets gets lost in just the processing of the returns just putting putting transactions into box of the VT return um, that's something that we can automate and we need to free up time for people. Um, to to the value added uh, value added things, making sure that they understand the business, that they understand your transactions. Um, so that that's why we really invest in in, in technology. So the first point on on the, on the slide is technology enabled automation. Um, like like I showed, we we use Money.com to really streamline our process every month. It's it, every month it's the same process, uh, same automation, um, and and. By doing this, it's it's also making sure that we we send out um, the, the the emails to you requesting information on time, so that we have the full month to, to start working on um, on 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 the the, the video return itself. Um, otherwise, it would I mean it, sending out the request for information. It's it's actually quite time consuming. People are already doing some some other compliance work in the beginning of the month. So this is by automating this, we've already uh, gained some some valuable. Uh, maybe a valuable week, the first week of the, of the month that we can that, that we can uh, give you time to 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 start uh, collecting the information, send it to us uh, earlier than than we we should get it otherwise. Um, second point here is the the efficient information exchange. So we stepped away from just sending um, requesting the information via email than receiving the information via email because it's I mean it, it's it's. Files are too heavy. Files are getting lost. It's, we're not saving the files proper properly. Um, it, it's also much much safer because um, we are, we are sure that that no 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 information sent to a wrong party or something. Like that. So this is I mean I think this is the correct way forward. Um, also on 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 the information database. It's it's also but, but this will be on the next slide. Um, Dropbox is super safe. It's it's um, synchronizing. Um, perfectly, we can we can access all the files from where we are. So it's it's a, it's a super um, a super tool for us. Um, the last point on on the slide is that we have our own uh, VT tool. Um, we call it tool, but still Excel based for the moment. But we we keep on working on on, the, on this file. But at this moment, it's already uh, having some automated checks. It's it's bringing the transaction. Um, to the correct box of the tier term based based on uh, smart linking of the of the um, of the, the the box of the transaction to the boxes, um, but but with the slide we want to show that that it's really the firm's commitment um, to use technology so that we um, increase our efficiency and accuracy um, in in the tax compliance world. Um, I, I talked a lot about Monday.com. This is just some uh, some screenshots for you to see how it visually looks. So you see the first um, the first screenshot on the top left. It's it's actually our uh, master client list. So this is a list of all the the, the clients with with the information that, that I was mentioning. So you see, for example, also the um, the risk assessment column. Um, it it's just a link to Dropbox. And if if anybody any team member clicks on the, this link, it will bring on screen the, the 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 risk assessment form with the explanation of the customer explanation of the transactions uh, and and the risk areas and, and things like that so um then from this this list we have the the, the multi compliance test which is uh, below um this is just one of the views but you see that for every deliverable you have an item we have um, a status which can be info requested can be info received prepared uh, first review and so on um, you also see the people uh, assigned to 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 this uh, to these items. Um, good thing is also that everybody, every team member, can just go to Monday.com and see and, and click on on the filter to see the the, the items that are allocated to uh, to to to, the, to that team member. 
Um, and, and every item also has attention points, uh, timings, priorities, um, things like that. Um, another good thing about Monday.com is that it allows uh, third-party integrations. Um, it We, for example, use SuperMail integration to Monday.com. Um, and, and this integration allows us to automatically send uh, all the emails, requests for information and approval uh, that we were talking about in the in the previous uh, slides. Uh, and then finally on the Dropbox, um, I think everybody is aware, uh, I mean, is quite familiar with Dropbox, um, but we've seen, I mean, nothing else but benefits by using Dropbox. There's no email attachments anymore. Uh, we have the links, we have the links also in Monday.com, so it means that um, allows us for automation, it allows us for having Monday.com open uh, as a working tool and just clicking on, on, the, on the links to, to access files on, on, on Dropbox. Um, it's a very good archiving tool and, 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 and synchronizes the files perfectly. Um, what we have um, as our from on Dropbox, we, we use it um, for the risk assessment forms, like we mentioned. We have the um, the full process documentation there, but we also use it as a as a, as a knowledge management database. So everybody uh, within our firm knows uh, where to go on Dropbox to to find the latest. Uh, training materials to to find all the um, the documents uh, shared by FTA um, and things like that. So it, I mean, it's really an up to date internal knowledge management uh, database that that is uh, very useful. All right, thank you, Sebastian. Did you want to add anything to that? Um, no, I think that was it. Okay, back to you then. Uh, just as an illustration of a couple of the um, types of information which is which is available to the team, for example, we have standard checklists on on a number of things. Um, so we talked about the VAT re return process, but also the what you get in terms of the request for information, the the Excel uh, Excel based uh, tool that we use. You you get every every month that's specific to every country as well. <clears throat> Specific to every country as well, um, we have a number of checklists, whether that's for the compliance of invoices and credit notes, or for example, for what to constitute deductible items from a uh, from a VAT point of view. And then as Sebastian was saying as well, we have a whole range of trainings that we have internally to, to get our staff up to speed, as well as our internal database. I guess probably also very good uh, for yourselves to know is kind of, how can you help us help you? And that might be a bit of a strange uh, statement actually, but um, what we see is we can further enhance the communication between yourselves and, 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 and ourselves, uh, right? And that is to avoid the situations where we're at the end of the month and then there's still more work to be done than, um, than perhaps we anticipated. Um, and we, as much as possible, we are trying to manage that end of the month deadline. Uh, but obviously, you know, given that we don't make any distinction between uh, our clients, if everything gets concentrated towards the end of the month, then that becomes complicated for the team to, to manage uh, everything. Um, and it's not necessarily something where you can say we can hire more people for. It's simply something about streamlining um the, the communication process and the information sharing process between yourselves and us so a couple of tips i would say from our end to make it to make it easier to 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 deal with us for in the benefit of of everybody uh is number one obviously is the the information sharing right the faster it comes um in the month the better uh our staff is very happy to receive information early on because that means that we can take the time to properly review, to turn it around and to file. Whereas when it comes two days before the deadline or one day before the deadline, um, we don't want the quality of the um, of the filing process to be impaired. The second one is to utilize our Dropbox links. Uh, most of you do so. Most of you are now familiar with it. Sebastian was talking about the virtues of, of, of using it. Uh, we believe in it as much as possible. We would like to encourage you to also subscribe to that 
uh, in the sense that subscribe to that principle and use it. You don't need to be a Dropbox user in order to use the links. As you may have noticed, any third party can, can simply use it. Uh, we believe it's safer. Um, I do understand that some of you have systems constraints sometimes where it is not allowed due to internal IT restrictions. Um, there we would encourage you or invite you to talk to your IT uh, department to try and see whether whether there's perhaps a possibility um, to, to nonetheless use it uh, because there is a great uh, benefit in, in, in doing so. Um, the third one would be the, the form in which you provide us information as much as possible if we can keep that consistent throughout the months or the quarters that you are sending us information that helps us right there, there's a there's a benefit in 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 not changing a process sometimes uh, this is one of those uh, places the next one would also be to notify changes let's say that your entity all of a sudden takes on additional uh, functions and tasks uh, and going from a low volume of transactions all of a sudden you will go to a very high volume of transactions it's very good for us to know that to anticipate it or for example you never did imports but now you're going to start importing if there's specific types of transactions which you never had but now will have or even transactions that you had on a regular basis but now will stop that's very helpful for us to 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 know to anticipate uh, things as well something that we can write down in, in in your profile as well that we keep internally um active feedback as well please don't hold back um we are happy to to receive uh, the constructive feedback that you might have uh we're as you can see we are working on processes we are improving them uh on a monthly basis really trying to listen to to the team in terms of the opportunities of, that we can capture to reduce repetitive tasks but equally so listening to clients in terms of saying okay i really need the information by day x so let us try and figure out how we can uh, how we can do that um coming up as well uh, some of you who are clients where we file withholding tax returns would have seen this already uh, is we will no longer require you to sign off on the returns as in approve the returns uh, on your side via email simply. What we will do is we will send you the, the return and you will be required to electronically sign it. Okay. There's no need to email back. There's also no need to email us to say that you have signed the document. Everybody will be made aware of the fact that you have signed the return. It's a simple review. You add your signature and that's where it uh, essentially stops. So this as well for us, it, it's easier to keep track of approvals from the client. It's easier to archive them and it may just be easier on your end as well to, to keep on top of um, on top of things. Um, I'll open to q and a in in a second, but essentially what you see here is we have summarized everything that we do from a from the viewpoint of the VAT compliance uh, process. Um, and we're counting on your good collaboration with with ourselves. I know that you're you are using us to take things off of your hands, right? And we are doing this as much as we can in the most efficient way possible, but also ensuring that you run the least risk possible. So we're trying to make things as simple as possible for yourselves. We do need necessarily a bit of engagement with with yourselves, and we're happy to to do so to do that so that we. Um, uh, for the benefit of everybody, make sure that we get to a good process and in the end, an accurate VAT return um, and a um, a situation in which we minimize risk and maximize uh, compliance. Um, I will stop sharing my screen now and open the floor to any questions that anybody might might have. You can either put them in the Q&A or you can unmute yourself, either works. I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about it.
No questions so far. So I guess we're, we'll be closing the webinar then uh, here, uh, given that there's no questions, feel free to, oh, there is one. Uh, Ahmed Usama is asking, how do we get updates on new tax laws in Saudi, for example? Well, Ahmed, our monthly newsletter uh, details every single update from a legislative uh, point of view in in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. So I'd, I'd encourage you to subscribe to the, to the newsletter, if not yet done, because it will have all of the updates every month. Pleasure. There's no other questions. Then uh, uh, thank you, Sebastian, for taking the time to uh, participate in this call together with me. Um, I hope that if any questions come to mind in the next couple of weeks and months, please don't hesitate to, to reach out. We may have a follow-up session in, in a couple of months, perhaps, to explain further enhancements as well. Uh, we'll be happy to, to, to explain those and, and try and work with yourselves uh, in, in order to uh, make, make this an easy process for, for yourselves. Uh, thank you for your attention, and I uh, wish you all a very good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.